We covered a lot of free ways you can improve your health today, but what happens when your own house is making you sick? Well, you can actually have your home tested for deadly mold spores that may be lurking. A few of my patients happen to that. If you have wa any water damage in your house, chances are you have mold. Yeah, and somewhere. Pregnant women especially are trying to get their houses checked for mold because it can affect the pregnancy. You know, a lot of times you don't know it because somebody has put a, a hammered a nail that's gone into a, a pipe inadvertently. You have a leak and you don't know it. This way you'd be able to tell if you have a leak and mold. And mold is not usually visible. In fact, the dangerous kind often isn't. That's why you have to have it tested. And these pieces of mold or these areas of dangerous black mold that you're seeing, they can get into the air of your home. And I want to read some statistics here. 25 million Americans suffer from allergic reactions to molds. They don't even know it. I mentioned 100 million people living in toxic indoor air environments. And scientists have identified 1,000 plus types of mold and mildew inside U.S. homes. So why not get tested? You know, I remember back a few years ago when I was sick all the time, oh, and I, I had time. temporarily moved into a rental home. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And the entire time I was there, I had respiratory problems. I moved out, and they improved. There you go. And, of yeah. course, I didn't test for mold because I wasn't there permanently. But these are things, if you have these unexplained respiratory symptoms whenever you go home, you have to get it tested. And there are many companies that actually do this for free. All you have to do is go to www.moldtestusa.com, and you can find out who does this in your own hometown.